Here's uh, Geotech Chapter 6, homework problem number 2. We've got a 12 foot thick clay layer that's resting beneath a deposit of a, a submerged sand that's 26 feet thick. The top of the sand is located 10 feet below the surface of a lake. And then we've got unit weights of the sand and the clay, and we need want to find the effective vertical pressure or stress at the clay layer's mid depth. So let's go ahead and start off by drawing a profile of that for number two. Let's review what the problem said. It's a 12 foot thick clay layer. So we'll draw that. That's at the bottom. And that's 12 feet. And that's clay. And that's resting beneath a deposit of submerged sand that's 26 feet uh, thick. So we'll put that up here, not to scale. This is 26 feet, and this is sand. And then the top of the sand is located 10 feet below the surface of a lake. So we've got one more here. We'll call this a lake or water. And that is 10 feet. So that's what our situation looks like when we start off. And we know this is water, so there's our water table all the way at the top. Okay, we have also know that the saturated unit weight of the sand, so my gamma sand, is equal to 125 pounds per cubic feet. And we know that the saturated unit weight of the clay is 117. So we'll call that gamma clay equals 117 pounds per cubic feet. And remember that gamma saturated is just the same as gamma total that we were using on the phase diagram. Okay, so we want to find the point of the clay. So let's just say there's our point where we want to find the effective vertical pressure. So remember that our vertical effective pressure or a vertical effective stress, we can use either term, is going to be that total stress minus the pore pressure, okay? And we've got a lot of water going on here, so everything we have is gonna have to subtract off the water. So we've got that lake, starting at the top, we even have a lake at the top, but if you think about the top would be, I mean, this would just be our gamma water, right? And that would be the 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So I'll go ahead and use that as one of my sigmas. We'll call this top layer sigma one. Um, we'll call, and obviously that's wet. <laughs> uh, sigma two through the sand is gonna be wet. And then I've got halfway through the clay layer, I'll call that sigma three, which is also wet. Okay, so my sigma naught is gonna be the sum of all of these layers. But I've got a trick here. Remember, I have to subtract gamma water from every gamma as I go on because I have to subtract that pore pressure from the total stress to get the vertical effective stress. So when I start off with sigma one, well, the unit weight of this is just 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, but I'm subtracting 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. So even though my lake is 10 feet deep, ten, my, that, you could think of it, that stratum is 10 feet thick, it's just going to equal zero because those two zero each other out. I'm subtracting off that pore pressure from the water and that's all I've got there is water. So that's going to go to zero. For sigma two though, I've got a little something because I have 125 pounds per cubic foot that I'm subtracting 62.4 from and I'm going to multiply that through that whole thickness which is 26 feet. So let's go ahead and do that to figure out the second part here. Uh, so we've got, I'm going to show you that 125 minus 62.4. My first step, subtracting off that unit weight of water, and then I'm going to multiply it by the thickness of the layer, 26. I get 1627.6 pounds per square foot. So that's for my sigma two, and then I also have my sigma three. Remember, it's just halfway through that clay layer, 
So I'll do my gammas first. It's 117 pounds per cubic foot minus 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. But I have to remember to take that 12 foot and divide it by 2 because it's just halfway into that clay layer. So I'll go ahead and do my subtraction first. 117 minus 62.4. And then I'm going to multiply it by 12 divided by 2. I'm just going to multiply that by 6. And that's 327.6 pounds per square foot. And then to find out my uh, sigma naught, I'm just going to add all those up. Well, I only have two, really. I have the 327.6 plus 1627.6. And that gives me a total of 1955.2 pounds per square so the trick on this problem was just to realize that that lake, um, because we're subtracting off the pore pressure, doesn't have any effect on that total vertical effect of stress.